Well, what's up, YouTube? We're here again in the garage, of course. We're gonna mess that thing a little. We got the top out of it. We're actually gonna put the top back in it because uh, I gotta pull it out of the garage for a few days. But anyway, so figured out a couple things on the computer system. The other day, I know y'all seen it where I said it made like eight pounds, but it was showing like 22 something pounds or something like that or whatever. But anyway, what was going on with that is that is absolute pressure or whatever. I looked up, looked into it. It's absolute pressure. So anything that it reads on the computer, you got to subtract 14.7 away from it, 14.7. So that's where the big difference comes in. Also, one other thing I found out that I'm actually going to mess with today is uh, the throttle position sensor is... Uh, not right so that is why i'm having some of my drivability issues when i'm barely touching the throttle and it wants to buck around spit sputter things like that and it's running lean i got to looking at it and i can move the, the throttle just a little uh, about where you would just barely touch it just to be kind of cruising around or whatever and it reads zero so i have zero a throttle input which obviously you know it's cracking the blades but it's not telling the computer to give it any fuel so it runs lean so we're going to hook the computer up we're going to set the tps and I'm trying to see how much daylight we got depending on how much daylight we got we may drive it around the block and drive it up at least up the road or something uh, i don't have any headlights in it yet so Still waiting to do that. If anybody knows, if we're uh, probably gonna do lazy eye. I don't know. I'm asked what I want to do. We may just put normal headlights in it for now. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. Uh, depends on what other things we gotta buy or do or whatever. So anyway, let's get the roof in. Get the computer hooked up. Let's get a TPS set and go for it and see what happens. Stay with us. So here's the TPS on this thing. Got a screw on top, screw on bottom. This was actually my idle air control valve. It got deleted. Uh, the plug was messed up on it, so I just done away with it. Um, so let's get uh, let's get a fill a couple. Let's get a couple screwdrivers. We only turn one with each hand. Get a screwdriver. Take that. Just touch loose. Put the computer up. Get this thing set to where, when you barely touch it, it starts uh, feeding a little bit of. I'd like for it to actually read a little bit before it actually starts to open, have that little bit of tip in. But anyway, we'll see what we can do there. I'm gonna try to get as close as I can and go from there, so. Okay, y'all. So, let me tell you what we did here. We actually took it for a drive, went, uh, went up to the store, got some fuel put in it, done pretty well. Um, changing the, uh, Fixing the TPS helped a lot. It's still got some, uh, uh, still got some, still got some sputter in it. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I'm an idiot for doing that. Still got some sputter in it, but we did get it to make, uh, so this wastegate, I got a boost controller on it right now, but it's turned all the way down. Um, we did get it to make, like eight and a half pounds, 8.59 pounds. It's got an eight pound spring in it, made 8.59 pounds. So, but I don't know, um, the second little test I done on it, it only made like three pounds of boost. So I don't know if, let's see here, I'm looking at it. If you're wondering what I'm doing here, so like right here, is about 17 which is about uh it's about three pounds of boost so for some reason when we made the second little hit it only made about three pound of boost i don't know why i don't know what happened i don't know if the wastegate stuck i can't find any hoses off um i i don't know what's going on but we'll get it figured out but I just kind of want to make a video today because I hadn't really talked to you in a lot lately. Um, so it's probably going to be kind of a little bit of a boring video, but we're just, we're just doing some testing, some, some tuning on it, trying to get it worked out. The drivability is coming around pretty good. Um, like I said, let me show you what I got here. So if you look up here at the top, 
try to look through my phone. So the blue line up here is my blue line is my boost and the or well the map sensor, which it got up to like 23 something, which was like 20 as a. Uh, We figured it up is like eight eight point five nine pounds is what it made on that pull at sixty four hundred. So sixty four hundred RPMs. It made twenty three and a half pounds. Like I said, it's got eight and a half pounds spring. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I'm gonna check the wastegate, make sure it's not sticking, and figure that out. But the jobability's coming around. I went and put gas in it tonight. Um, so. Now I just gotta figure out where to mount my two-step button, which I got my button. I just gotta uh, gotta get it mounted. But um, we'll check that waste get out, see what's going on. The turbo seems to be turning fine, all that good stuff. Uh, and start up turbo spins, whatever. It's all good. I know uh, I got a little bit of exhaust leak, so it might have might have blew the exhaust gasket out, not letting it spin the turbo enough. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll, uh, we'll get back with you. But y'all tell me in the comments what y'all like to see. Y'all want to see more of the Supra stuff. You want to see more racing. You want to see more uh, mechanic work. Uh, I mean, I know what gets views as far as my analytics or whatever, but I want to please y'all. I want y'all tell me what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see tractor work starting to cool off when you get the tractor out, push some stuff over, uh, move some stuff around. Or would y'all like for me to try to try to get some people to do some like interviews and uh you know talk about their cars and and stuff like that uh i got one guy i know would definitely let me do it probably got a couple more probably let me do it uh do some interviews and talk about their car maybe go for a ride in them something like that you want to see that what y'all what y'all want to see tell me down in the comments what y'all want to see but that's gonna be it for this one and uh maybe we'll get to work on this thing a little bit more this weekend i do have uh i've got an oil filter relocation kit coming along with the oil cooler all the lines all that so it's going to get a relocation um my harbor freight hood thing it's going to get a uh, oil filter relocation because the oil filter on this thing you can't see it but it is down in behind sorry about that, that was a mistake you can't see it but it's down in behind the stinking off the turbo i don't even know if you can see it with a lot let's see if we can get a lot of so yeah you see it right down there so that's the oil filter so we're going to take all that mess off and put a, a plate on it with 90 degree ans and we're going to run the oil filter and probably mount it right in here somewhere and put the oil cooler right up front in my fog light hole more than likely um it's got a factory oil cooler but from what i've been told them factory oil coolers on these things are junk so we got that coming this week hopefully we can get it on um, I gotta do some more work to the white truck, but anyway, tell me in the comments what y'all wanna see. But anyway, please like, share, subscribe, comment. See you on the next one.